sales process. I mean, simple as that. And then you'll close the sale. Sit back and just let them come in, right? You know, a lot of people that are in this webinar right now are in here because they look at the sales process like this. You know, they're they're looking at it going, okay, well, you know, what do I need to do? What are the steps that I need to take to take my business from where it is right now and, and to where it is that I'm trying to go? Well, what I'm going to do today is go over a three-point play. Point number one, track your leads. Okay, if you don't know who they are, you don't know who you're selling to. Point two, interact with your leads. Sales is and always will be a relationship business. The man that is able to build a relationship better than the next man will usually gain that business. And when you build a relationship and you get good at building long-term meaningful relationships, then what happens is you, you then create, create and introduce longevity into your business and longevity into your sales process because now you have people that aren't necessarily following the product or service that you're pitching. They're following you. right? You are their guidance to what you think will help them move from point A to point B. Point one, track your leads. So what we're going to start with is, you know, it's very important that when you come into the business on a day-to-day -day basis, you have proper views. You have, you have information that you can go and take advantage of to guide you in the direction that you need to go in. You can spend an entire day being busy. You can spend 18, 20 hours doing stuff, and at the end of the day, kick your feet back and go, whew, I was busy today. But you didn't do a single thing that allowed you to move from point A to point B. You were just busy. I've been there. You've been there. You know exactly what that's like. And you feel frustrated because you didn't do anything that took you from point A to point B. You just stayed at point A, but you stayed there busily. right? So what you want to do is have the proper views. The views that I like to use are the first contact date versus next follow-up date view, the intros booked versus the intro showed view, the did not show report, I love the campaign performance reports and the email results reports. And of course, I love the dashboards uh, as well because that's going to give you an overall view of where you're at and where you're going. I love to have data. And the reason I love to have data is because there's no guessing. I do this, I do this, I do that, I get that. It's real simple. But why do we make it more complicated than it has to be? Let's start off with the you know, first contact date versus the next follow-up date view. Okay? Converted versus not converted. Then as you can see right here, you go into Perfect Mind, you go to the contact view, and then you go inquired in the last 30 days, and you have a list of all the people that have inquired with you in the last 30 days. Now, the views that I like to pay attention to is when did they become a lead, and when were they contacted? This allows you to see all the leads that, that are coming in on a day-to-day -day basis and how long it's actually taking for you to follow up with them. Okay? You shouldn't allow days and you know, weeks to go on. There should not be a huge gap between when they became a lead and when they were first contacted. What I also love about this report is down on the right side here, you can see whether they are an active lead, or an active member, or a lead. So you can actually very quickly see what the conversion rates have been for that month so far. So as you can see, just in this dialogue alone, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different people that have come in in the last 30 days. And out of those ten people, one, two, three, four, 40% of them we've already closed. This is going to help you take your business to the next level. Dashboards. Okay? Knowing your marketing performance, your leads, your appoint appointments, your intro ones, the intro twos, your new students versus the students lost. You know, financial performance, memberships, how much money did you bring in? As opposed to new and renewed, what are the differences? You know, products, expenses, net income. This is going to allow you to go into the student retention for today and see your ABC non-active students as well. So this is really great for giving you the information that you need or that your staff needs on a day-to-day -day basis um, to, to really get that guidance moving forward. Intros booked versus intro showed. Booked versus showed. You know, why is that so important? Okay, well, that's so important because that's going to allow you to say, okay, I booked 10 people last week, but only six of them showed up. So the next week when you're going to go make calls, why on earth would you pick up the phone and call a cold call that you've never spoken to before, unless, of course, they're a web lead that came in, when you have a list of four, five, six people that already booked with you that didn't show up? 
guys, work with the willing, work with the interested. Don't go out there and make the job harder than it has to be. You already have hundreds of people within your network right now that you can go to and re-engage with to bring them back and help you grow your school. Did not show, okay? Go in every week. You should be going into Perfect Mind and pulling up a did not show or a DNS report. And this is the people that have already come in or already shown interest but didn't come in, sorry. They're just important, okay? So what you want to do is, again, work with the interested. Work with the willing. Campaign performance reports. Know where your people are coming from so that if you need to make more sales, you know where to go. If you know the well over there has water, why on earth would you go try and dig another well? It already has water. Run over there and get some. Okay? From here, the campaign performance report reports will allow you to see where your leads are coming in, and then you can dive into each individual campaign on its own to find out the students, the phone numbers, the first contact date, you know, the last contact date, what the status is of that lead, so you know exactly, okay, I got 25 leads here already sitting in my database, and out of those 25, seven of them haven't even been contacted yet. I think we're starting to really see that we have a different kind of problem that we actually thought 15 minutes ago. It's not that we can't close them. We're just looking in the wrong places. For those of you that do trials, trial is not enough. They are not a student until they are on a one-year program. I'm sorry. If they are month to month, they're not a student because they can leave any time they want. If they're on a six-week program, they're not a student because they have six weeks, boom, bounce, they're done. Don't wait for the trial to be finished. Gently nudge them through the entire process from the very first class into a regular program. Fact, many people will actually sign up for a free trial only to see their 30 days run up, never actually coming around to trying it out. Have you ever done that before? Got a trial? Never gone once? Oh, man. My trial ended today. I was totally going to go. I've been there. I'm not too proud to say that I've been that person before. It happens all the time. So gently nudge these people through the entire process and into a program. If you're going to say, my six-week program is the bomb, it's going to close everybody. I can just sit back and wait. You are fooling yourself. You're lying to yourself. You're fooling all of us. You're fooling all of them. Okay? Your program might be good, and it might really develop some great potential students. That alone, on its own, will not grow your studio. You need to nudge them through the program. After a certain period of time into their trial, you've got to follow up with them. Ask them if they're enjoying the classes, if they have anything that you can help them with to enhance that experience. Be that customer service. What changes you from the school down the street? You both teach martial arts. To him, they're no different. You both have mats. Both have black belts. Okay, what's the difference? Not only you'll be helping your potential prospects make the most out of your product, you'll also be increasing on customer loyalty within your efforts to look out for your client's best interest. When you check in with the client, they're in the front line. They're telling you what you don't know. Remember, a black belt forgets what it's like to be a white belt. These people are giving you vital information not just to help you grow your studio and make your studio better, they're, if you listen, they are giving you the ammunition that you need to close your sales. Just got to listen. Sales is 9% listening, 10% talking. Always remind your potential customers of the date they signed up or the remaining days left in their trial. You can even schedule a time within Perfect Mind to discuss your solutions in depth in accordance with their needs. Okay, establish a life cycle email marketing campaign to define those key touch points with each potential customer. That will help you optimize your conversion rate. In Perfect Mind, you can create workflows. Those workflows will be able to be set up one time, and when certain triggers are met, those emails will go out. So maybe what you do is you have an email go out a week after just checking in. Another week, and every week for six weeks, a new email is going out just to check in with them, to say different things, to nudge them along, 
And in that process, you're seeing them and pointing to the side in Matt chat and saying, how's it going? And you're keeping them engaged. Use follow-up reminders. If you're still using Post-it notes, take your two hands, put them on your head, one on each side, by your ears, and shake your head. Because Post-it notes don't work. You'll lose them all the time. Because that sticky stuff only lasts for so long. Okay, you think that this is some extra crazy glue that's going on it, you stick it on the wall and it's going to stay there till eternity, I'm sorry, you're wrong. Especially if you're a big guy like me, six foot five, I'm walking around, these things get stuck on my shirt all the time. Don't use post-it notes. Don't rely on paper. Paper gets lost. Don't rely on memory. Memory forgets. It happens. Use follow-up reminders. So when you log into a system, that system tells you, bing, you need to do this today and don't leave home and don't leave the work until it's done. Studies have shown that reminder calls reduced no-show rates from 26.1% to 17.3%. So also, not just using follow-up reminders, do reminder calls. The night before they're supposed to come in, give them a quick call. Hey, it's Sensei Brooklyn Call from Champions Martial Arts Academy. How are you doing today? Awesome. Now, I know we have a meeting tomorrow for 3 o'clock. Uh, just wanted to make sure that you're still on and you're still ready to go. Uh, I have a really great lesson plan that I want to lay out for you, show you around the school, and uh, see what you think. Bam, done. Okay, get them excited the night before. Get them dreaming about it the night before. So when he wakes up the next morning, he's having oatmeal because he knows he's going to martial arts. Okay. Use your schedule again. I'm telling you, vision boards. You all have heard me talk about vision boards, and you guys know the fact. You write it down, it happens. Simply put, you don't write it down doesn't happen. Use a schedule. Have something that you can rely on on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you have staff, have something that they can rely on on a day-to-day -day basis. Make those reminder calls. Inside Perfect Minds, you can come down here to not start an activity. This is for the day. Now you can see all of the activities that have not started and the dates of those activities. You go in there, nail them out one at a time so all of them are done. When all your activities are done, that's when you start looking for the other things to do in the system. Point two, interact with your leads. Like I said at the beginning of this webinar, sales is a relationship building thing. It's a business of building relationships. If you're closed off, you want to be that traditional martial artist that just is real grumpy all the time and, you know, you, you, you know, you don't really talk a lot, and you bring them in, and you know, this is how we train. That's cool. You can do that. Um, there's there's plenty of opportunity, and people that want to learn from that as well. But if you are more of uh, an open type of character, embrace that character. Okay. Um, you know, interact with your leads the way that you know you want to build that aura within your school. Call all your leads within 30 minutes of getting them, and then set up weekly auto emails as well. There's you know, some interesting stats on calling your leads right away. Companies that try to contact potential customers within an hour of receiving queries are nearly seven times as likely to have meaningful conversations with key decision makers as ones that try to contact prospects even an hour later. Yet only 37% of companies respond to queries within an hour. Now if you're doing what I'm doing right now, you're shaking your head. You're saying if people know these stats and they know this is the case, why aren't they doing it? Right now, to yourself, raise your hand if you contact your leads within 60 minutes of receiving them all the time. For your own self, tell yourself, do I? Do I really do that? You'd be surprised that when you contact somebody very quickly, a lot of times they're still on your website. Or a lot of times they're on, still on your Facebook page or however you got that lead. There's power in calling them and them going, wow, you guys are quick. I'm actually still on your website. That's happened to me before. I ended the conversation with, all right, would that be a Visa or a MasterCard? Sign the guy up on the phone. No joke. It wasn't the first time and it won't be the last time. The point is there's a lot of power in timing. Throw away your scripts. Everyone in sales always says, make a script. You know, make a script and follow your script. And you know, when you're making calls for the first time, you know, follow a script. I don't believe in that. Throw away a damn script. Get it out of it. Believe in yourself. Just be you. 
you are what sells. You are why are they going to take your martial art instead of the martial art down the school or down the street. Sorry. It's not because you have five degrees on your belt and he has three degrees on his belt. It's not because you're a world champion and this guy is a state champion. It's not because you have a really sexy handlebar mustache for November and this guy can't grow a mustache for November. That's not why. Okay? It's because it's you. They're buying you. They want to feel comfortable. They want to feel confident. They, it's, like, it's like when a girl first starts dating a guy. Okay? And if that guy is successful at making that girl feel like she's protected, that, that she's cared for, that, that she can talk and he'll listen. You know, if, if he's successful at that, she melts in his hand like putty. She's his forever. Okay? You take that same philosophy and put it into the school, and if you can make every single person that walks through your door feel safe, feel confident, feel cared about, feel listened to. They will be a black belt in the future for you, no doubt, and potential future instructor. It's really that simple. People are looking for guidance. If you can embrace them and provide them with that guidance, they will follow you. But if you're not successful at that, why would they follow you? You are perfect exactly as you are. There's no need to change anything except the thoughts that you aren't good enough. A lot of people right now in this webinar and outside of this webinar are awesome, but they don't believe it themselves, or they just don't know it yet. Or they know it and they just haven't embraced it because it's such a big change from what they've been all this time. Dig deep within yourself. You are, you are where you are right now because something inside you was amazing. And that same thing that got you to where you are today is going to be the same thing that gets you to where you are tomorrow. It's just in how you embrace that and use it for yourself to either go forward, sit still, eh, I guess just those two things, you know. Sit still or go forward. One of those two things. Figure it out, you'll have a lot of fun. Auto emails for intro programs. Okay, this is what I would suggest that you guys do. Send a welcome email to every single new trial member. Okay, when you get a new trial member or you get a new member, bam, welcome email goes out immediately. You can set that up in, in perfect mind to go out automatically as well. After a defined period of time, email each member asking them questions. And if there's anything that you can help them with or if you can lend a helping hand, maybe provide them with some tips on stretching or things like this to help them go through their program. You can even propose a scheduled time to discuss their needs, their goals, and the future services with you. Okay? You can automate this through the system as well. Send a reminder that their trial is about to end a week before. Hey, this is just a friendly reminder to let you know that your trial ends this week. And then wait for a week after the trial ends to ask those trial users that didn't upgrade to your plan for feedback. This is important because moving forward, that type of information is going to help you close from 6 to 10, to 7 to 10, to 8 to 10, to 9 to 10, to 10 to 10. I know you guys are sitting here thinking, well, I thought he was going to give us like the secret formula to closing 9 out of 10. I am. You just got to watch. But part of that secret formula, you're already, you already have. You're just not doing it, or you're not doing it effectively, or you're not committing to it. The things that are happening in front of you right now are the things that's going to help you change your business moving forward. Use the power of social media to run contests and promos. We all know social media is powerful. Some of us are using it. Some of us aren't. For those of you that are not yet, I strongly urge you to do. Just get on there and start doing it. There's a lot of people to, to follow. There's a lot of great people that you can take, you know, take lessons from. You know, just get out there. Sensei Nick is one of them. I know Anthony DiCarlo is another guy out there, Mr. Speranza. He's out there doing it up. You know, Mr. Burroughs is doing it up. You know, I got a lot of cool guys that are out there. They're just doing it. Get out there and check it out. Mr. Borrego, you know, he's out there doing his thing. Just check these guys on Facebook. Just see what they're doing because what they're doing is helping them. It's working for them. Send personalized cards. They make an impact. Even if they're not members of you yet, invest the 2 or 3 or $4 to send out a card on their birthday. Maybe a congratulation so that when you talk to them the first time, they said they were going to do this, and that's why they can start up with you right away. 
Can you imagine the power of sending a congratulations on your graduation before they're even a student? Or a good luck on your final exam for college. We look forward to seeing you in your first class, and in that is a little gift certificate. Or even, even further, you provide a little keychain tag that's already connected to Perfect Mind. It's already got 10 sessions built on it. You put it in the card. You mail it out to someone and say, good luck on your final exam. Inside this is a keychain tag. On there is 10 free classes. When you're done and you need to de-stress, come on down. We'll help you, we'll you de-stress. Invest in your business. Point three, ask for the close. Simple put, ask, seek, knock. Ask, seek, bam, 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 knock on the door, let me in. So many people don't even ask for the close. They just expect the close to happen. You're not that good yet, guys. Put that coffee down. Coffee's for closers. If you haven't watched Wall Street and you haven't watched Boiler Room, get on that this weekend. Don't let this long weekend happen without us knowing that Boiler Room and Wall Street are the best sales movies out there. Okay? People that want to close, it's an attitude. It's a mind state. Okay? You have to change that. Ask yourself, do I want to make money? If you said yes, and everyone in here should have said yes, then forget hours of operation. Hours of operation do not exist for the people that want to move forward. Now, I don't mean get up at 7 o'clock and go to the office and come home at 12 o'clock and miss your family. That's not what I mean. What I mean is that when your phone vibrates on the table at 8.30 in the morning, and it's a web lead, it's someone that it was up at 8.30 in the morning, possibly at work, he had his first cup of coffee, he's feeling like crap, he's on the Internet, he came across your website, you said, you know what, I want to take some more shorts. Bam, put his information in. What do you do? Wipe the sleep out of your eyes, pick up the phone, call him right then and there. Be his white knight. Be his savior. Hey, it's Brooklyn calling. How you doing? I understand you were just checking out my website. Is there anything I can help you with? What are you doing right now? You know, there are no odds or hours of operation. Now, at 10 o'clock at night, if somebody comes on to, as a web lead, you have a choice. You have a choice to either call them right then and there and be that hero. Yeah, man, martial arts is my life. 10 o'clock, no problem. Why don't we set up an appointment for tomorrow for you to come check us out? Or you can be the guy that just puts the phone away, calls him first thing in the morning. That's okay. Because people that are coming on at 10 o'clock at night, they're not necessarily expecting a call back. But something within them said, do this. They might have even looked at your website five, six, seven times before they actually did it this time. So for me personally, nine times out of ten, I'll pick up the phone and still call them. Hey, man, I hope this wasn't too late, but I saw that you were on my website, and I really just wanted to call you real quick before I pack it in for the night and say thanks so much for checking this out. Uh, tomorrow I'm actually going to be here doing this. Would you like to come down and check us out? Maybe we'll do a couple kicks and a couple punches and see how you like it. Boom, done. Get it out of the way. Don't assume anything. You can't assume anything because anytime you assume something, something completely different happens, and you're like blown. You're like, bam, what? Okay. Ask questions. Don't assume. Ask questions. Ask questions. They will get you the results that you need. Remember, if you ask the right questions, they will give you the right answers, and all you have to do is then ask for a credit card at the end. But the point is you have to ask for the credit card. They're not just going to voluntarily take their credit card out and say, here you go, charge me $3,200 over the next 12 months, and I'll come to kickboxing three times a week. No problem. Here. People aren't like that. You have to ask for it. Always be closing. Enough said. Every day be closing. That doesn't mean you have to sign up a 12-month membership every person that comes in. No, but don't let that person end or leave saying, okay, I'll think about it. And then they leave. Okay, no problem. You know what? While you think about it, why don't we put you into, uh, into this program that we have here. It's running for the next 10 days. You can come check out the classes. You can try it. You can sweat it out. You can feel what the body feels like after a martial arts class, and that can help you, you know, think about what you want to do at the end of that. If you need a little bit more time to kind of figure out if this is the right art for you, no problem. We can throw in a couple extra classes. We can do whatever. Or we can you know, go this way. Whatever. Okay. When the guy leaves, don't have him sell you on why he can't do it with you. Sell him on the reason why he can and should do it with you. But while he's trying to figure that out, you're going to give him this. This is a very important point, point guys. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Sales is an uncomfortable thing. 
And if it's not uncomfortable, you're not growing. You're not doing the things that you need to do to take yourself to the next level. It's when we get comfortable that we get complacent. And when we get complacent, we don't grow. We don't learn. We don't, we don't do anything that helps us get to where the magic happens. So what you need to do is you need to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. So that when that uncomfortable thing comes up, you look at it as like challenge. Let's do this. You know what? It's going to be uncomfortable, but let's do this. I know it. And when I get through it, it's going to be comfortable. Okay? And then you go to the next one and the next one. And that burning desire within you to be uncomfortable is what makes you grow. When negotiating, the first to speak loses. This is why we need to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. I have been in the room, and I have put the information in front of them. I have given them the options, and I have sat back in my chair, put my leg over my other leg, put my hands on my lap, and I just looked. Awkward, huh? It is awkward, but it works. You start fidgeting, you start moving, you start looking around, you start sweating. A lot of times, people just um, they reach in their pocket, grab a credit card, and like, so how does this work? Do I pay you by credit card? Do I pay you by check? <laughs> the weirdest things happen. But the point is, it's true, guys. There's power in silence. The difference between winners and losers. This is at the point of the webinar where you now figure out where you are and where you're going to go after this webinar. If after this webinar you're going to go back to doing what you were doing before this webinar, I'm sorry to say, but you're a loser. Yep, you heard it from me. Sensei Brooklyn said you're a loser. You can go on Facebook and say, Sensei Brooklyn, call me a loser. And I'm going to come on there and say, why? Because you came and spent 45 minutes of your day to learn about things that you can do to take your business to the next level. And when you left, you did the same things that you were doing before you came and sat in that webinar. That is called the definition of a loser. Some say it may be possible, but it's too difficult. Losers see the pain. Losers see the problems. Losers let it happen. Winners say it may be possible, may be difficult, but it's possible. They see the game. They see the possibilities. And flat out, they make it happen. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you are absolutely right. Now I want everyone to stop. Stop what you're doing right now, grab a piece of paper and grab a pen and put it in front of you. We're going to go back to school for a second, okay? Just get your knapsack, unzip them, grab your HB pencil, grab a piece of paper, put it down. Okay? We are going to do a little thing here. Write down how many leads you got last month. Be honest. How many leads did you get last month? Now, I want you to say, how many did you close? Okay, so let's say, for example, you got 30 leads last month. And out of those 30 leads, you close 10. What's the percentage? 33%, right? Okay. So if I can get you from 33 to a modest 60 or 70%, how many extra sales is that? Based on my numbers for the example here, that's an extra six to seven. So you have to figure out what's your percentage. Take what, how many leads you got last month, how many did you close? That's your closing ratio. Okay, that tells you what your closing ratio is. So if you want to, you know, get a higher number, you know that 
You have to do a certain amount of numbers to get a certain amount of numbers to get a certain amount of numbers. That's your closing ratio. This example right here says 33 percent. Now you take that 33 percent, you jump that up to a modest 60 to 7 percent. Because I can tell you right now, with the system that I have set in place, the system that we provide here for you guys will guarantee that you will jump from a 33 to a modest 60 to 70 percent without even having to change a single thing that you're already doing. I'm not saying it enhance your marketing. I'm not saying jump on any of your social media stuff. Yes, that is all important, and this is stuff that you will eventually have to do, but I'm saying right now, without investing any more into those areas, just using what you have at your fingertips right now, you can take your lower percentage and bring it up. If you're below 60-70%, we can easily bring it up 60 to 70 percent to get that extra sales. Now, what's the value of each sale? Thousand dollars. Six to seven new sales. Six to seven thousand dollars. Added revenue right now in the next 30 days. So you have to ask yourself: Do you see value in that? Do you see value? in taking the information that you have available to you right now, systemizing it into a certain way, restructuring it, and attacking it in a different way to get different results. So this month alone, with my sales system and using it modestly, you just made an extra seven to ten thousand dollars. right before Christmas. So you guys what? Special offer today only. First five people to book a guided tour with me in the next 30 minutes get their very first month free when they come on board Champions Way. I'm only taking five though. I can only take five people because when I work with my clients, I work with my clients. You don't believe me? Go on Facebook and check. I'm taking five. Five only. Five people to book a guided tour with me in the next 30 minutes, get their first month free when they come on board Champions Way. Make that final push in 2012 and get the ball and momentum rolling in 2013. Type in the text box, yes, I want my PM. I want to book my tour and start closing 90% of my leads now. Just write it into the text box. Book a tour with me to start adding huge profits to your bottom line now. And let's develop that relationship moving forward so we can take your school from where it is right now to where you want it to be right now next year. Let's have different conversations. If we're still talking about the same things next year, this time as we are right now, we have failed. I'm only taking five. The first five get at me. Let's connect. Myself, there's my phone number. There's my email, there's my Facebook, there's my Twitter. Uh, that was a great webinar, Sensei Brooklyn. Um, it's, a, it's probably a good time to open it up to questions, if anyone has any questions for Sensei Brooklyn. Um, I know I see one here from uh, Mark Speranza. Uh, he said, Sensei, did you create those views yourself, or are they already in the reports? Uh, those actually... The views that I showed today, those are actually still in, in the reports right now. I actually, when I took the screenshot, I went into the system and grabbed it from there. Uh, if you need any assistance with, uh, if you have PM3 and you need assistance with getting those reports done, definitely call uh, the 877 number, extension 2. That will bring you to service. They will uh, have no problem with assisting you getting those, those reports, those views done. There might even be videos. I, I don't know. But yeah, uh, ask the support. They'll help you with that. Um, the other question uh, is asking if uh, the auto e emails that you used, uh, could they be made available in the library? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I am working on a handful of content for the library right now. Um, part of that content that's going to go into the library is auto responders for you guys uh, that you can send out and obviously tweak to your own liking and whatnot. But yes, the auto responders that I um, talked about today, that I spoke about, with, and, and, a, and a myriad of other ones that I didn't get the opportunity to speak about today uh, is, is in there. Uh, what they, they will be there. Sorry. Uh, I'm working on them right now. Yes. That's in the library. So 
Uh, if you have the library, you'll have access to that. All right, I got uh, one other question here. Um, for trials, they're not listed as active students yet. How do I know that? Do I request PM3 by calling? This is from Ace Ramirez. Yeah, it, it, Ace, you want to get Perfamy3? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, man. Give us a call, man. We'll get, we'll get you hooked up. No problem. Message me on Facebook, Master Ace. I'll, I'll make sure that you get up. I'll put you in touch with someone. Fantastic. Um, yeah, looks like, uh, looks like that was a great webinar. I'd like to thank Sensei Brooklyn first off for delivering the webinar, and uh, thank you all for attending. Um, if you have any other questions, you can uh, you see Sensei Brooklyn's contact information here. You can shoot him a call or an email, uh, touch, uh, reach out to him on Facebook or on Twitter. Um, yeah, thanks again, Sensei. Thank you very much, guys. Have a powerful end to this week, man. Take this motivation, this energy, and just kill it. Let's do this, guys.